You are extremely busy. You are out there grinding, getting after it, CEO, baller status, baby, but you still want to make gains. This is the video for you. Or maybe you're not CEO, baller status, baby, super grinding, super busy all the time, but you are about to be busy for a while and you still want to make gains. Then this video is for you. Let me start by saying that yes, you can make solid gains, you can be jacked, you can get even more jacked, even if you're extremely busy. Let's get straight into the tips. Number one, embrace the minimum effective training dose. Yes, Dr. Minimum Effective Training Dose here telling you the same thing. But what I mean by embrace is to truly take a step back and understand that current literature supports the idea that you can make substantial gains with only a handful of sets per muscle group per week, even if you're an advanced lifter who has been doing a bunch of volume in the past. Herman Nadal, the latest study from our lab, did exactly that. Single set training to failure or not to failure in lifters that were doing much more training volume before and lifters who were somewhat advanced still led to significant muscle growth after eight weeks. Similarly, the totality of the current literature supports that just a few sets will not only allow you to make amazing muscle gains, but will also significantly boost your strength, potentially to the point where you don't even need any more training volume. What I'm trying to say here is, I know you've heard this before, but it's time to take a deep breath and become part of the minimum dose cult. If you're super busy or you're about to be super busy, accept that it's fine for you to do the least amount needed in order to make substantial gains. Science supports it, anecdotal experience from all sorts of uh, lifters, including Mike Menser, supports it, and in general, you can feel fine. I get it, FOMO, you may be thinking, maybe it's too little, maybe it's too this, maybe it's too that, but yeah, if you're gonna be busy and you can't do the damn two hour workout, just embrace the minimum effective training dose. That will be the main thing that will allow you to make substantial gains while being extremely busy. In addition to embracing the minimum effective dose, also embrace the infamous Bulgarian philosophy by Bulgarian coach, philanthropist, and CEO Todd Oralev of at least I'm doing something. Something is better than nothing. Get that in your head and grain it and understand that even if you do the least, even less than minimum effective dose, that's still something. It may be enough for you to maintain during that one insanely busy week where you're also traveling and you can't even do the one hour of lifting that you need per week, but still going to the gym and doing something will be better than nothing. And let's get into the details of what that something might look like. Tip number one, skip warmups or keep warmups insanely minimal, especially if you are not training for powerlifting or doing exercises that have a big skill component. Skipping your warmup, getting straight into your working sets, or at worst, doing one low rep heavy set before you begin your first exercise is going to be fine. Both from a gains, long term gains perspective. And even from a performance perspective, when we look at the current totality of scientific evidence, even one heavy warm up before your work is enough to maximize performance. As far as actual muscle growth goes, I do not think that warm ups play a very important role. And obviously, it comes down to your personal preference and all that jazz and how you feel on that day. But if you're short on time, skip the warm up, get straight into your set. And this brings me to tip number two prefer exercises that are machine-based and stack-loaded, so you don't have to set up, so you don't have to add weight to the bar, and so that you can just sit down, literally put the pin to a heavy weight, do a few reps, wait a few seconds, and that, then get into your working sets. That's been a game-changing strategy for both myself and many of my clients who are extremely pressed for time. Skip the squat, skip the deadlift, skip the barbell bench press, instead opt for a leg press, for a chest press, for a lat pull down. Sure, you may love barbell exercises or they may feel better or whatever, but if you're pressed for time, you just want to stimulate that muscle group, get in and get out. And that's what machines allow you to do. Alternatively, if you don't have access to machines, opt for the equipment that has the least amount of setup required. That could be using dumbbells, or even better, with some terms and conditions around the muscle group strength, do bodyweight exercises. Chin-ups and push-ups. 
just doing chin-ups and push-ups allows you to get a ton of volume in for your back, front delts, biceps, triceps, chest in a super efficient way without any warming up, without any prep, without even needing to be in an actual gym. Play it smart with your exercise selection. Don't just go for whatever you're used to doing, but rather for what will save you most time. And you know who can do that for you? Not for free, I don't know why I wanted to say for free, but can do that for you for a very affordable subscription. My adapt. Training at a different gym, my adapt will sort you out. We'll adjust the equipment based on the equipment you have available. Only have 15 minutes to train instead of your usual hour, my adapt will have your workout adjusted so that you can get it in. Myadapt.com, express interest now. Yeah, baby. In addition to being smarter with your exercise selection, Drop sets and supersets are your best friends when it comes to making solid muscle growth gains in very little time. Agonist antagonist supersets, where you're essentially training opposing muscles back to back, can save you up to 40% of time in the gym without sacrificing any gains. Simply do exercise one, let's say chest press, finish your set, wait 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how you feel, get into a lat pull down or any sort of opposing muscle exercise. Do that, wait a minute or two, and then repeat the same pair again. That will allow you to cram in training volume, get a solid pump, and be done with your workout in much less time than if you were to stick to straight sets. Similarly, drop sets are another way where you can get in more training volume and have an effective workout in much less time. Sit on the chest press, do your set, lower the load by about 10 to 20%, bang on another set until failure, lower the load again, do another set, do that for a few sets within the span of, I don't know, a minute, rest for a minute or two, and then repeat the same thing again. Supersets specifically are one of those advanced training techniques that although not a plateau buster muscle growth accelerator, are a game changer even for those who are not insanely busy, and I use them myself all the time, uh, both in my own training, but also with clients. However, for you, the busy grinds and individual, supersets can be a game changer. I have released a free superset program that you can try. Its link should be somewhere in the description. The superset program addresses the common issue that many people claim to have with supersets, which is that they can't be hogging multiple pieces of equipment, and it's designed in a way that you can easily combine exercise together. However, if you do not want to follow that specific program, simply ask ChatGPT to make you a list of superset exercises that can be done on the same piece of equipment. Take a pair of dumbbells with you next to the lat pull down and do overhead tricep extensions or push-ups. There's many things that you can do in order to make supersets work for you and allow you to be so much more efficient with your training. Speaking of supersets and drop sets and in general being in a rush, cutting your rest times is another easy way for you to decrease your workout duration by quite a bit. Now, you may be thinking, if I cut my rest times, then I'm probably missing out on future gains, yada, yada, yada. Yes, if you're resting less than a minute between sets, that's not ideal for muscle growth, but the effect that it will have on your future gains is not as severe as many people have you think. We conducted a meta-analysis on the topic and we found that around one and a half to two minutes seems to be the sweet spot for absolutely maximizing gains when it comes to rest periods, but even if you rest less than a minute, you're not going to be destroying your gains. Sure, it's not ideal, but if it allows to do substantially more volume, then you're likely making more gains within the time constraints that you have. Additionally, you can be strategic with how you implement rest periods. For smaller muscle groups or exercises that are less metabolically demanding, you can rest less and then rest longer if you need to. However, don't feel afraid to cut your rest short or just run like a maniac from exercise to exercise. As long as you reach failure, you're solid. And this is an important point that I also want to highlight. When you are pressed for time, you want to ideally have most of the few sets that you're doing taken to the point where you're attempting another repetition and you're not able to get it. Additionally, it is in your best interest to do a lot of things as lengthened partials. Yes, I can hear you crying, slamming the keyboard, eating the keys, fucking losing it. But as it stands, length and partials result either in the same or more growth than a full range of motion. And because you want to specifically ensure that you're getting the most out of each set, doing sets as length and partials with the failure point set at the point where you cannot perform another length and partial is a surefire way for you to make sure that those sets were truly effective. Take back training, for example. 
if you do a set of lat pull downs to full ROM failure, AKA to the point where you're unable to bring the bar further down to your chest, then sure, still gonna make amazing gains. But if you already started the set and did it as lengthened partials, you know for a fact that you had nothing left in the tank. The same goes with other exercises that are more short and biased like leg extensions or barbell rows. Prefer either do the whole set as lengthened partials or at worst, it's just make sure you get to the point where even another partial rep is not possible. This won't directly save time, but it may make each set more effective and therefore allow you to make more gains. This brings me to the bonus section of this video with tips for those that are insanely pressed for time. Like I'm talking, even the advice that I just gave you seems like too much because you cannot get out of your own house and go to the gym. Obviously you can do bodyweight exercise at home. That's not the tip. The tip here is doing isometrics at long muscle length. We have a study currently in review, which I won't reveal the findings of it yet because I don't know, academia and journals are being weird. Um, but in reality, from the current literature, we see that isometrics at long muscle lengths can potentially be um, a fail safe solution, a backup plan, if you may, for those of you that are pressed for time at home, don't have any equipment and obviously cannot just do push-ups and uh, goblet squats or pistol squats or whatever. Literally get whatever muscle group you want in the lengthened position against a solid object and just push as hard as you can for 10 to 30 seconds. Do a few sets of that and I won't sit here and promise to you that we have a ton of evidence showing that you will definitely make insane gains, but at worst, I'd be comfortable in saying that you'd be maintaining your gains, if not seeing some gains as well. More research is needed, but this is a tip that we haven't talked about much yet. So this sounds like one of those too good to be true tips, but if you're at home or at a hotel traveling and you are a lifter and you're like, fuck man, I can't go to the gym. I've done some push-ups, but I also want to do something for my back, for my legs, for whatever. Get in a position where the muscle you want to train is lengthened and push as hard as you can against an immovable object. Even if that means leg pressing the wall, that's fine. You're going to be good it's at least something. But for those of you that have some equipment at home, a couple of dumbbells, and obviously you can also do bodyweight exercise and may have a chin-up bar or a dip station, exercise snacks, AKA short bursts of lifting throughout the day can really make a difference and allow you to still stay on the gain train. You only need about four fractional sets per muscle group per week anyways to make gains. So if you have a work call and have a five minute break, just do some push-ups. Just grab the two dumbbells and do a superset of biceps and triceps. Do that throughout the day. And those exercise snacks will at least help you get to that minimum effective training dose. Do not underestimate the minimum effective training dose. Last and least hypertrophy related bonus tip, um, but for your overall health, although I'm a big advocate of walking, if you're extremely busy and you are struggling to get your steps in because steps take time, Maybe it's time for you to implement some more intense cardio in your daily life. Going for a quick run or just literally sprinting up and down the stairs of your building for 10 minutes. Um, we'll take some boxes and will allow you to get some of the health benefits that you'd otherwise get from, you know, an hour or two of walking. So yeah, you gotta be honest with yourself. If you know that in the next few months or the next few years, things are looking quite rough in terms of time availability, you also need to keep your health in check. Lifting itself, especially super low volume training, will not tick every box, will tick some boxes, but getting a bit more intense with your cardio will is likely a, a really good idea. And there you have it, rascalapparel.com for this wonderful t-shirt that you can get. It's the exact t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. You can buy it for thousands of pounds, but be sure to use Dr. Pack for 10% off. But that's it, saved you time, saved you money. So send me money and thank you for watching. But in all seriousness, gains are still possible even if you are the CEO of a multinational company. Listen to this video, follow the tips, isometrics and long muscle lengths. Next thing, next upcoming trend, get ready. Just kidding, we will see more literature needed. Dorian Varovic, DM the guy, complained that you don't get to hear about the study just yet. And we'll see you next time. Peace.